What is up everyone, back for another build guide video for Diablo 3. In this video we will talk about a really fun build that you should focus on in the next season. At the end of this video you will be speed farming, speed drifting, everything with this build. So the next season is the Legacy of Nightmare season. It is a free buff that you will get without using the two rings. We got two slots left and we can use that to make this build even faster. If you search for a great rift pushing leaderboard build then skip this video because there are other builds who are doing that job easier. So for our headgear, Leoric's crown, put a blue gem inside it and you will get more cooldown reduction. For the gloves, sit Arkruch, when you get hit you will get an absorb shield for under 50% of your lives so you can run through monsters without dying. Akila Caress for the 50% damage reduction, we will have this active the whole rift since this build is not using any primary resources. Bell of Trove, Bombardment will be one of our damage dealers and if it spams automatically, that's just fantastic. Hexing Pants of Mr. Yan. In this build we are continuously moving, with Hexing Pants we will get a nice damage increase by 25% as long as we are moving. Illusory Boots are great boots because it will allow you to move through, mo through monsters uh, without getting stuck. For our braces, strong arm braces, this will knock back enemies and those enemies suffer at 30% increased damage. Unfortunately I don't have a hellfire necklace but pretend that it's there. Uh, you wanna have a hellfire necklace with the skill passive indestructible. For our shoulders, that watch mantle, if you want to get a little bit more damage, if you think you don't need it and you need more toughness, go for Pauldrons of the Skeleton King. I don't think the passive indestructible skin will activate the same time as Pauldron of the Skeleton King, but this means you will get 2 second lives. For our weapon, Swift Mount, um, this will be our weapon. Um, this will increase the duration of Steed Charge. Lidless Wall is the best shield for this build because it can run physical damage. So we have two ring slots left. Uh, we wanna use those rings for elite killing and maybe for even more damage reduction. Stone of Jordan will be our elite killing ring and the uni Unity will be the ring that will give us 50% damage reduction if you also use the ring on your follower. For the Kanai's Cube, the Mortal Drama. Drama. This will double the bombardment impacts. Bird of Iron for the increase in Thorns damage and of course Conventions of Elements Ring. Whatever you are doing you want to make sure you use your skills when it turns on physical damage. For the gems I don't have them right now uh, but it will be Bane of the Trap for the damage increase, Boyarkis Chip for the increase in Thorns damage, Bane of the Stricken for the damage increase or Bane of the Powerful which is going to be more useful for the damage increase and damage increase uh, damage reduction against elites or from elites. For the skills, Bombardment, Barrel of Spikes, if you, well, you want to cast this when your conventions of elements turn on physical damage. Steed Charge Endurance, this is the skill that makes you very mobile and fast, you want to run through monsters and they will just die if you are speed drifting. Condemn Vacuum is your enemy grouping skill, Iron Skin, Reflective Skin, this will add some Thorns damage to a Bombardment skill. Uh, so rotate it uh, with your Convention of Elements ring. If you are getting in problems, you also want to activate this because it will reduce all damage by 50%. Concentration, Bed of Nails, this will give you some lives back and it also deals some damage. Acridge Champion, Prophet, this will give you a third life. It will give you some armor, defense and damage reduction. You always want to use this when you are almost dead or when you are or when you can keep it up the whole rift long, if you have enough cooldown reduction. For the passives, Fever, this will reduce the cooldown by 15%, Iron Maiden for the 50% Thorns damage increase, Lord Commander will reduce the cooldown of your Steed Charge and Bombardment, Finery for the 1.5% strength for every gem you have socket. Now the stat priorities. For your headgear, strength, vitality, all resist. Shoulders, strength, vitality, cooldown reduction, bombardment damage. Armor, strength, vitality, all resist. For your necklace that I don't have right now, but just pretend it's there. Strength, area damage, physical damage. 
gloves, strength, vitality, cooldown reduction and area damage. Belt, strength, vitality, all resist or life percent. Legs, strength, vitality, all resist. Both of the rings, strength, area damage, cooldown reduction. Braces, strength, vitality, physical damage. Feet, strength, vitality, all resist. Weapon, physical damage, strength, area damage, cooldown reduction. Shield, strength, physical damage, cooldown reduction, vitality. So this is the build, it is really fast and still really strong. It's not the strongest Crusader build, but it will get you faster to the best Crusader build. Uh, in the next video I'm gonna show you a Greater Rift pushing build for the Crusader. And unfortunately I don't have the Legendary Gem, so I'm gonna end this video. So I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, leave a comment, like and subscribe. Also turn on the notification that's next to the subscribe button. And then I will see you in the next video. Peace.